Hi, I'm Pia from Cube Gallery, and for this year's Art Fair Philippines, we are proud to present two shows in our galleries. Into the Blue by Angela Silva at Crossroads, Manila, and Chelsea Skyline by Popo San Pasqual in the Science Center of Cebu. For those who cannot visit us here in Cebu, feel free to make an appointment for us to virtually take you through the exhibitions. I was born in Iloilo but grew up in Manila, then lived abroad for many years. I felt a lot of nostalgia and longing for older times and always family stories. In my work, I use images of old Filipiniana and family photographs and actual stories from my family. I explore themes such as memory, time, place, and identity. The medium I use is cyanotype printing, a form of alternative photography that produces a monochromatic blue image. The Return to Shadow Memories is very personal work about my family. You can see these are old photos, but you can look at them in a new way. I wanted them to be timeless. Hacienda La Fortuna is a collage of three cyanotype prints mounted behind vellum paper. The top print is the family mansion in San Carlos called Hacienda La Fortuna. I wanted to honor the women who were hired as yayas to take care of several generations of my family, the yayas who loved us as shadow mothers. Most of our yayas came from the family Hacienda in San Carlos to work in our households as cooks, maids, nannies, and lavanderas. I found these old photographs in my mother's collection where our yayas held us. I compared them to the photos where our mother held us. Who was the mother and who was the shadow mother in these double portraits? I know these women and the stories of intimate history behind them, their mothering, their nurturing, and the subsequent separation from the children they held with pride and love. I made the artist book I call the Shadow of Mother's Album by hand printing more photos and binding them into a book so I could tell more stories. I use artist books as a structural form to expand a given narrative across time as you turn the pages. I also wanted to see how the photographs in the album would look on the silk banner. Elenita to Helen to Elena is a collage of cyanotype prints on a digitally printed background. It's about my mother and her much-traveled life adventures. She came from a life of Negrense privilege upon which I base my curated memories and selective recall. I used her passport photos and my own handwritten letter to reflect a time of distance and longing. She was the one to whom the child would turn because she was there, ubiquitous as the scent of sugar planted in the great haciendas, where the rest of her kindred toiled. Was she shadow mother, or the one indelibly imprinted unto a child's sentient body? You say of cyanotypes, blue is also the color of the ocean, of distance and longing. Our memories of all our mothers taste of salt water, Relentless waves of beckoning blue-black seas. Here on the second floor of the exhibit Into the Blue at Cube Gallery is a series of prints called Slow Light Botanicals. These are botanical cyanotype photograms. This process, called wet cyanotypes, is a very contemporary one where I manipulate the light-sensitive emulsion. Photograms are basically objects placed directly onto sensitized paper and exposed to the sun. I use plants from my garden for these botanical photographs. Plants that have survived well, ferns since primordial times, weeds that sprout unattended, and ivy that reaches out to cover ground.
Hello, I'm Jing Ramos, curating for Cube Gallery. Today, I'm at Cube Gallery, and behind me is a triptych by Popo San Pasqual from his exhibition, Chelsea Skyline. This piece pulls the whole collection together. It's called the Chelsea Hotel, which housed a couple of artists, poets, and people of that ilk. And that gave Popo the energy to figure out the history of the place.